Mood of the George, obviously head coach, coordinator. How prepared were you to take that next step? As ready as I could be. Yeah. You're, you're never ready till you sit in the chair yeah. and feel the weight of the responsibility. But uh, funny story about the George job. I get interviewed by Coach Dooley, who's the AD. After the interview, Coach Dooley said, I'll get with you at the end of the week and let you know what we're going to do. But the next day, he calls me and offers me the job. <laughs> and I really wasn't ready to hear that news yet. I thought it was going to be about a week. I said, I'm not sure I want the job. He said, what? Uh -huh. I said, I'm not sure I want it. He goes, I'll give you another 50000 I said, I'm not, I'm not negotiating. I'm just not sure. Truth was, I was, I was afraid of their responsibility. Yeah. He said, here's the deal. He goes, you sleep on it and you call me in the morning. And if you don't want it, I got to move on, right? Yeah. Let me know. So by three in the morning, I realized I want the job, right? Yeah. So I call coach at three in the morning. I go, it's Mark Richter. I want the job. Because that's great. He goes, what time is that? I go, it's three in the morning. He goes, why'd you call me at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night? I said, I was afraid you're going to sleep on it and change your mind, so I wanted to get you before that.